Hey everybody. So this new shiny thing here is the uh, Techno Perk Generator Rack. You can choose between different samples on all of these banks. There's a lot of stuff in there. You can adjust the volumes down here if you want to. Let's go back to the initial pattern. So we get some really metallic sounds out of this one. Let's put this back to 100. Then the filter. So you can hear that the resonance is being adjusted as well as the internal envelope of the filter. And then we have the effects. Just dry wet between the two effects, delay and reverb. And then the switch. So right now we are listening to, let me check, sequencer 2. It's this one here. So sequencer 2 is the Rhythmic Steps Max for Life device. And we are triggering three different uh, drum rack cells, which themselves contain a lot of different drum samples. So we have one, two, and three. This chance here means whenever a slider is all the way up, it will play 100% of the time. And then, of course, uh, you end up with some very surprising stuff sometimes. If you don't pull it up completely to 100%, we have the velocity tab, which you can also randomize for each individual percussion sound. Um, timing, which is very interesting because you can get some very weird, out there, wonky patterns. Right now, everything is on the default setting. So let's go back to chance, and then you can see what this is doing when I play. You can see it switches between the different drum cells. And if I put some extra steps in here, one of the sounds is now more audible. You can completely randomize the whole thing, of course. This is a randomization in uh, less increments, and then this is completely full out bonkers randomization. Right, so this is sequencer 2. We can switch, like I said earlier, to sequencer 1 here. So now we're listening to the sequence that is generated by this sequencer. And you can see this is also triggers the uh, same cells on the drum racks. And now we can adjust the length of the sequence and we can generate new patterns with this dial here because this is mapped to the Gen All button. But you can also generate uh, manually on different cells if you want to. Let's have a listen with some drums for context and also some side chaining. Maybe let's randomize the drum samples. Let's switch back to sequencer 2. A very different outcome. So you can imagine there's a lot to discover with this one, uh, a lot of happy accidents. This random button here will be your best friend, of course, because um, this can be 
mapped to everything in the rack. I excluded some parameters when you first open the rack because uh, it doesn't make much sense to have them randomized all the time. For example, the filter. It's not much fun to listen to a new patch when the filter's all the way down. And then we can hit random and have something new. And of course, I encourage you to play around with the randomized features of the sequencer here. My personal favorite is sequencer 2, but sometimes uh, you need something more streamlined. And then this sequencer here, if I switch back, is um, very, very easy to handle. It's very quick, right? So you need something for eight steps, make a new pattern. And you have something going, change some samples, adjust some volumes. Put the shifter on there, a little bit of filter. Switch back to sequence uh, two. Let's give these different lengths, maybe something polymetric. So now we're listening to 12 steps, 11 steps, and six steps here. You get the point. So after the pretty overwhelming response I got after the release of the Hypnotic Sequencer rack, I'm really glad to see that uh, so many of you are enjoying that rack. I decided to dive into building some more racks. So this is one of a few that I have in the works right now. Um, there's also some more stuff coming soon. So if you want to be in the loop about that, uh, just subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm not a YouTuber, so don't expect any uh, cringe, weird face thumbnails and stuff like that. But yeah, subscribe to the channel and uh, you get some info when the new stuff is coming out. Uh, until then, enjoy this rack and have fun creating.